Hi there, my name is Nicola. Welcome to my channel. Today, let's play a little bit with Elementor. I will show you how you can create this hero section for your portfolio website. And my hero section, it has a very nice entrance animation, very smooth animation. You see, this tutorial is divided in two sections. The first one, I created this with Ocean WP team. And the second one is in Elementor. If you want to watch only Elementor part, find the link in the description. Okay? Before we start, I will be very happy if you click on this subscribe button. If you have any questions, write down in the comments. And for more fun, smash the bell. Let's go! I already created one page. And now let's click here to edit it. And the first, uh, first let's go on customizer. Okay. And here let's change the site identity. Now go to header and check the logo settings. And here for logo color, choose our orange value. The hex code is E3872D. And hover is the uh, dark color 090B70. Okay, you see, click on publish to save our work so far. Go to menus. And before that, uh, let's create our menu. This is the settings, but now we must to create it. Click here after the customizing, click here on this menu bar and create new menu. Give it a name. This will be the main current main menu. Click on next. And here let's first let's add our home to page because this is the that this page here. Just add it in the name to home. And then uh, click uh, create some categories. Not categories, create some uh, custom links. I will create the first one and then I will speed up this film. The second page after home is about us. The, it is the same procedure for other pages, other links actually. Okay, again, click on publish. And then let's go two steps back. And in header, click here on menu to style our menu. I already set those settings, the position is the right. Links effect is underlined from left, just like here. And the value for link line, or line hover, the color is E3872D. Okay, and let's copy this value. And here for drop-down styling, you see if you click on this magnifying and the search icon, let's change from blue to orange. Okay, now let's check the menu typography and typography for our link. For logo, it is Montserrat, bold 700, and font size is 44 pixels with line height of 1.8. For menus, actually for our menu, the font family is the same, font weight is 500, and you see the other settings, and font size is 14 pixel. Letter spacing 0.6. Okay, click on publish, and we have our header section done. Okay, now let's go on the Elementor part. For our home to page, you can name your your page, whatever you want. Click here on edit with Elementor. 
Okay, here let's create first create, create new section. This is section with two columns, and the settings is next. Content width is boxed, columns gap without gaps, and here let's uh, in this part for height let's set mean height and mean height will be in pixels and this is the 840 pixels okay those settings are default let's go on style and choose the background color now let me see the hex volume this is the hex the light light gray here okay and now in first column let's add the heading with text my name is Nicola so I'm use I'm going to use my own name okay and then go to styles and change the color for almost black but never never use the pitch black triple trees is fine let's change the typography Okay, font size will be 70 pixels. Now let me see the other values, 70. Okay, this is fine. Then let's add the some text beneath. And here I'm going to copy my text. Then uh, here just you need to add the br tags html tags for breaking lines you see just like this okay now let's change the text color let's change the typography maybe it is not the default font size let me see no it is not the default is 22 and weight is 500 okay and i think that i have some padding yes padding but i will add this padding later and beneath the text let's add let's add the button uh, with text of hire me the default value of the size will be large without icon specific id and so on typography also will be Montserrat. the size is okay and other settings but we need the specific color sorry and the text size will be 18 pixels and the background color is our orange shade and also hover text uh, color on hover will be orange background will be transparent and let's add the border type to solid two pixels for all all sides and the color is the same see now it is much better okay and uh, now in this second column uh, let's add the picture i already uploaded some pictures here for experimenting purposes but we need this one don't forget to uh, fill these fields here with alt text with your keywords and title also and don't forget to optimize your images for better site speed, for better loading, faster loading actually. And with this optimization, you can have better results, SEO results. Okay, now let's change the style for width of our picture. Then for this part here, for uh, for text, let's add the top and bottom margin of 25 pixels. 
just type 25 okay and also let's add the spacer here above our text with uh, pixels with size of 140 pixels and down for bottom one more spacer here it has 100 pixels okay i think we are done with our section for now for large screens but first of all let me show you how you can adjust for smaller screen sizes okay click on layout and then there choose the tablet mode and for this you can change or you can reduce your the size for this spacer here let's go back one time click here and for tablet size type 44 and let's add some padding here some padding for left for example 25 pixels okay now let's reduce sorry not preview changes let's go on history and move one step back then change the font size on typography let me see the font size for tablets it is 15 pixel also you can change the colors for uh, the sizes for those two for example let's change for button and here you can change size for medium and so on okay optimization for smaller devices you can do on your own click on update and before the ending of this tutorial let let's add some animations in these two just select this column the first column here choose motion in advance choose motion you see in advance choose the motion effects entrance animation use fade in in left and for right column choose not responsive choose the fade in right okay click on update and our hero in portfolio section is done you see you see our logo our menu our search bar button lego picture and some text okay okay guys this is the end of this video thank you for watching me if you have any questions write down in the comments if you have any ideas about future tutorials write down also i will take this in consideration if you want to support me and my work please subscribe to my channel smash the bell and i will see you in next tutorial bye bye